Check this out. I just built a plasma reactor generator to prove the concept of the Keshe electric generator. Positive 36. Now where is that energy coming from? All of modern society, all of our modern technology, everything that we have today has been designed and constructed and developed with zero understanding of the creation of gravity and magnetic fields. We understand how gravity works, but we have no idea where it comes from, how it's produced until now. This is a plasma reactor to prove the concept of the Keshe generator. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do it from start to finish. So come with me. This is the plastic bottle plasma reactor experiment. Four electrodes, one, two, three, and four. And the idea is that once we fill this up with the solution that it creates a plasma in the air above it that then um, produces a current. Okay, so I just created the solution, lemon lime soda, potassium hydroxide, mixing together until all of the potassium is dissolved into one solution. I'm going to insert it into this bottle. Okay, so I just transitioned the solution. Turn the timer on. The solution that I just put in this bottle, that is the um, ignition sequence that sets the plasma reaction in, in action. I'm going to take the solution out of the bottle. Creates the dynamic reaction uh, that then we can measure. Now I'm going to give it a couple minutes to let it charge up, let it do its thing. So now we're just going to let both of these sit. I'll show you this one in a little bit more detail. It's just three copper electrodes. What's fascinating is I'm going to take the caps off of these, show you that there's nothing in this thing other than those electrodes. Now this again is just a proof of concept. Negative 2.2, I switch these around. Pretty impressive results. Okay, anyway, I have to go pick up a friend of mine, drive her to the airport, and I will be back in a couple hours. And these plasma bottles have just been sitting here. So let's test them and see what, uh, see what they say. Almost five hours later. Holy macaroni, that's a good one. So it's filled with electrons, it's filled with protons, it's filled with neutrons, it's filled with all of that stuff. The difference between this bottle and these bottles is that the plasma within these bottles has been set into a dynamic reactive state in that it's, they're constantly, the hydrogen atoms are, are ionizing in that the proton and the electron are separating. Um, circling around and then coming back together and then doing that again and then coming back together and then doing that again. That's, that's all that's happening in here. Look at that. That right there, 59.9 is the highest reading I have received yet. Now within this bottle is a spiral arm galaxy. The Milky Way galaxy where we live is a hundred thousand light years across from end to end. We look in here and we say that bottle, is, that shit is empty. There ain't nothing in there. If we really stop to think about it, uh, it's called the Planck scale, it's called vacuum energy, it's called zero point. The point is simple, is that there's enough energy within this bottle to change the entire world. All right, I understand, I get it. Enough ranting already. 10 hours and 30 minutes. You can make them to look like this. You can make them to look like this. This one kind of looks like it's gonna do something. Like this with the clothes pin. Okay, let's try that again. It's off, dang. The universe is inside this bottle. Uh, and now that may seem freaking bonkers. That may seem crazy, but uh, it's not that far-fetched. It's not that crazy. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, flip the switch. We still got energy. Uh, please share this video. Tell your friends, 
uh, if you have any questions and then all I'm saying is that uh, we're moving from the mindset of scarcity to a mindset of abundance and it's time for peace there's really no more reason to fight all right ladies and gentlemen of the world stay classy let's do this so what are we really made of deep deep inside the atom when you will find tiny particles held together by invisible forces everything is made up of tiny packets of energy born in cosmic furnaces the atoms that we're made of have negatively charged electrons